Well done. I know you were frustrated on Tuesday. That must have been the perfect way to respond. Yeah, it was, yeah. But I don't want to be frustrated one week and uh, and, and, and feeling high the next. I, I'd like a consistency. I'd like a level of performance that we can uh, rely upon and depend upon. And uh, yeah, look, the, the lads were very good today. Um, they took a little bit of flack from me during the week and uh, they certainly came out and answered me in the first, uh, certainly in the first half. So yeah, I was really pleased with them. I was really pleased with the way they reacted from the Accrington game. I was really pleased with the way they act reacted from the, uh, the crew game. So uh, yeah, let's hope I don't have to go toe to toe and head to head with them too often because uh, they're a really, really great group of lads to work with. I had a great group of lads last year here at this football club and I think we've got this similar, a similar group as well this year. So. Uh, Look, they've, uh, they've set standards and I don't like when they come off them. I don't like when they let the standards drop. And I felt they did that in the second half on Tuesday against Crew. But you can see what they're all about, you can see what we're all about. And uh, I've got some lads in there who are really, really tired. They probably played every game for us. They're putting the bodies on the line um, for, the, for the football club. So, uh, testament to them. But uh, that's what I expect from them every week. You would have wanted a good start. You wouldn't have expected a goal after 12 seconds. I wouldn't have, no, but uh, look, my defenders took a bit of stick from me, so it was a great header from Ryan Delaney. Um, the, he's claiming an assist, and it was a brilliant finish from uh, Will Evans. So uh, the lads took a little bit of, bit of grief off me on, uh, on, on Tuesday and, and particularly Wednesday morning. So uh, they responded well. They, uh, they, 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 they restored that, that fate, although my fate had never been wavering, but uh, anybody's fate was wavering, they restored it today. But like I keep saying to them, it's not about being good this week and bad the next, it's about being good every week. It's about um, consistency, it's about getting them levels right every week. Um, we must be the, the most exciting team to watch in the country because every, go, every game there seems to be uh, goals galore. Um, so uh, yeah, we're, uh, we've, we've probably opened up a little bit more this season, a little bit more expansive. We play a little bit more football, a lot better. The, the brand is a lot better, it's more exciting. And um, it is it is exciting to watch the lads play, but let me tell you, at times my heart is beaming out. Goals galore as well for Will Evans. Uh, he's already gone past last season's total. What has been the difference in his game this season, do you think? Probably he's playing up front and not left wing back. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know, can't put my finger on it, but Will needed um, the same with James Waite. I'm expecting big teams from James Waite and, and Woody next year. You, you, you don't just jump from the Welsh Premier League into the Football League and, and, and it happens straight away for you. Uh, Josh Seabury is another one who had a bit of a tough time the other night. These lads need time, they need time to settle in, to bed in, get coached up. They need time to get a little bit of gra wool on the back and get on the grass and get some experience under the belt. So Will has had that year. Um, at times last year I felt Will got carried away with a little bit of plaudits and a little bit of praise. This year his feet is firmly on the ground. Um, he's walking hard and uh, listen, he's a pleasure to walk with. He's a, he's a, he's a great, great lad. Um, I, I, uh, I love walking with him. Same with Waitie, same with Woody and, and they've done really, really well coming out of the Welsh Premier League. So um, a big up to the Welsh Premier League and, and, and all the clubs in there for, for the hard work that they put in and, and the good players that they produce. From one end of the pitch to the other, how pleased were you with a clean sheet? Yeah, yeah, as I say, after the other night conceding four goals, I was really pleased with it. Um, so the other night wasn't like us. Um, so yeah, it was, a, it was a clean sheet. It was one. Second one following Doncaster last week, but we need, uh, we need many more of them. We need to be on our toes. Uh, every, every ball that comes into our box, we need to defend better. And I thought the boys stepped up today and, and, and answered my little, uh, little bit of criticism that I had of them during the week. So um, it's it's look we're a, we're a team in progress. We're evolving a little bit from last season as well. We're making steady progress. Um, hopefully we can uh, we can get enough points on the board to uh, to su surpass our, uh, our our budget level. Um, and hopefully we can uh, we can, we can stave off any any danger or any threat uh, that that may linger over over us as a club or as a team or that lingered last year. So uh, I just don't want to go through that again this year. So hopefully we can uh, we can now punch our budget this year and do a little bit uh, a little bit better than we did last year. And last one for me. You've said that you know you've been winning one and losing one. The important thing for today is this is the standard now. You've got to replicate this as as much as you can. Yeah, yeah. But look, it's the difficulties I face is I've, I've got. I've probably got 16 players, 15, 16 players that, that you can call upon. 
So the difficulty is, uh, is, is, is making them changes and resting the senior players. And the difficulty is getting this group or guiding this group through a 46. Well, if we go all right in the Cups, you know, 52 game season, that is the difficulty. The difficulty is making them changes and, and, and bringing, uh, bringing the, the, the backup players in, you know, because uh, we, we, we do need to strengthen our squad. We ain't gonna get through. Uh, we ain't gonna get through the, 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 the season without having injuries, suspensions, um, players missing. So yeah, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more strength and depth might uh, might help us as well. We've, uh, and, and let's 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 have a roy. We've come here today without four regular first team starters in Omar Bogle, Declan Drysdale, Kyle Jameson, and Ozan Zala. And for any team. Any team, a championship, League One team, missing them four players would be massive. And for us to go out and give that type of performance, missing them four players is, is testament to the, to the group of lads in there. And we can't wait to get the four of them back in amongst the lads and, and, and challenging for uh, positions in the team. Well done today, Graham. Thank you. Brilliant.